Oh man, 2018 has been the year for me and for mostly the Mach 1. So as you guys know, I bought the Mach 1 in August of 2017, a week after I moved here. I just saw it, it was right there, 100% completely stock. It hasn't even been posted online, so I was like the first one to get on it. It had about 37,000 miles, and I believe over that year I put on how much? So it's at 43,789 miles. So about, what is that, 6,000 miles? But man, from where it has started to where it is now, 100% completely stock, and then look at it right now, it's on bags, wheels, I mean, still stock engine-wise, so that kind of sucks, but man, I've come a long way, it's come a long way, I've learned a lot, I've been through a lot, and just been a good year. Let's just, let's just do a small recap of every mod, every little lesson that I've learned, and see where we are right now. It's 100% completely stock, um, has obviously the stock, uh, racing stripes down the middle and over on the side but I'm not gonna go into detail I'm gonna leave it as a secret but I mean I already have these big plans for this car it's gonna be my project car and I'm gonna have a lot of fun with it so today we're gonna be removing the stripes off the hood and off the sides it kind of hurts my heart tearing away this Mach 1 thing it, I mean it's such a legacy to American muscle I mean but I mean got to be done sorry Mach 1 all right so it's a few minutes in and it's actually looking really really good uh, actually really good I'm actually surprised at how it looks all right so as you can see we just finished wrapping the roof off my 2003 Mach 1 and it came out absolutely perfect very happy with the way it came out I've been wanting to lower the car for well since the day I picked it up uh, and I had two options coilovers or bags but overall the stance looks super mean especially with the window tint and the roof the stance looks so mean. So I ordered the SLP Loudmouth 1 from American Muscle. But there's the old exhaust, there's the new exhaust. Oh, that sounds so good. If you can't already tell, today we're gonna be installing a UPR off-road X-pipe on my 03 Mach 1. And before I start this, I just wanna say, sorry neighbors. <laughs> goodness look at that that looks sweet clear corner amber corner clear corner amber corner this looks super awesome boom look at that and no hyper flashing so that is awesome this short throw shifter off Black Friday weekend um, since they were doing a little bit of a discount and basically what I got is an MGW short throw shifter whoa that feels weird and today I'm gonna be showing you how to retrofit your 99 through 04 Mustang headlights and that's high beams low beams high beams low beams high beams I have my sister outside recording, so hopefully this goes good and I don't crash into any poles. So let's go ahead and do this. So if you've been following me for quite a while now, you would know that I've actually been rocking the stock wheels on my Mach 1 since the day that I bought it. And it sucks. I'm not even gonna lie, these are pretty sexy, honestly. I'm hoping that's all it takes to get rid of this residue. I'm really digging the no spoiler look. I think it makes it look a whole lot different and it reminds me of the bullets. Stock wheels, new wheels. And here's the newly improved Mach 1 with the new ESR wheels. So today we're gonna be installing an LED gauge kit for my 2003 Mach 1 and I'm pretty excited for it. Holy moly, look at that, that looks amazing, wow. Send it, boy. Right off the bat, 
We have the chin spoiler. That actually looks really good. I'm kind of impressed right now. The only thing that I'm actually worried about is the tank and all the compressors, the lines, the airlines, all that good stuff. And I have no idea what I'm doing there, but the fronts and rears, super easy. I'm pretty confident about that. Dude, that is, whoa. Oh, that's so cool. Got the app right here and let's air out. So when I saw that these mufflers were on sale, I was like, dude, I have to grab these ASAP. Alright, so not bad for a year on YouTube, right? So initially when I bought the Mach 1, well before I had that, I had the V6 Mustang, which you guys all know. It's in the garage and I'm giving it to my peasant sister, which is right behind the camera. Yeah. And when I had that V6 Mustang, I had so many good memories of it. I mean, that's what introduced me to the Mustang family. But I was like, you know what? I need something faster. I want a manual. Like I want a real V8 American muscle car. So I moved from Texas all the way down here. First week, found this Mach 1, started modifying it. And I was like, you know what? With every mod that I add onto this Mach 1, I'm going to document it and I'm going to put it on YouTube. It might be a little bit cringy, it might be a, a total failure. It is. <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and try it out. And over that year, I've gotten like 7,000 subscribers, we're like 100 away, so technically, I'll say 7,000 right now, which is not bad at all. So from the bottom of my heart, if you come to watch my videos, if you give them a thumbs up, I really want to thank you. If you go to watch my videos to drop a hate comment, to give it a dislike, I still want to thank you. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are like, whoa, dude, that's awesome. You've done all that in a year. That's so cool. But what's next? And well, my main priority right now is to get back to Dallas, Texas, where I originally am from. I was born and raised there. So I think I'm going to hold on onto the Mach 1. I'm going to stop modifying it for a little bit. I mean, one thing that I really want to do before I move back to Dallas is I really want to get it tuned. I don't know if I want to get a dyno tuned because that's like 800 to 1,000 bucks. So I might get a custom tune. But my main focus is to finish that black Mustang for my sister because right now it's a piece of garbage it's just sitting in the garage it, you have to jump start it every time it's missing a window there's a lot of things that needs to be done and I still need to get tires on those wheels which late model restoration sent me out so it's exciting and I'm excited to go back home to Texas feel bad for you because you're gonna have to stay here <laughs> but anyways guys this is where I'm gonna go ahead and end video so I thank you guys so much for watching make sure to drop a comment let me know what you guys thought make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and share with your friends but anyways guys thanks so much and I'll see you guys on the next episode peace